if I ever done fillers in someone with a craft trip? Yes, I did. I did, and honestly, the idea for that is not an easy thing to do, but is something that is where it becomes when the cosmetic and the reconstructive part of, of the surgeon comes together, and the results are better. Of course, they are good results. They are not perfect results, but you can get really good results. I even done fillers to 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 correct the position of the tip of the nose of a person at the craft lip also. So there's a lot of things you can do for that, depending because the craft is not just the lip, it's also all the structure around it that can be balanced with it. And sometimes even with, uh, with Botox, we can balance that thing also. The same thing with patients who have uh, facial paralysis, for instance, and one of the side is not moving as well, and they just recover partially. It's very common after pregnancy uh, or during pregnancy to have some uh, Bell's palsy there. So with, with the toxin, you can balance the, the contraction of the muscles and give a better appearance to the patient and even functionally in that sense and more sim symmetry. But definitely I've done that for cleft lips and uh, the outcome depends on the cleft, depends on the scar, depends on the treatment that was done before, but uh, definitely something you can do.